Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 24, and text number 61. So, as in the previous verse, we have discussed about how Lord Shiva, he himself explains about uh, impersonal feature of the Supreme Personality of a Godhead, which we called as a Brahma Jyoti, which is not different from their Lordship. So now he is explaining about the different energies of the Lord and how do they work and how one can understand them. So he says, Yo maya yedam pururu payasraja Bibarti bhuya kshapayatya vikriyaha Yad bheda buddhi savidavatma dusthaya Tvatmatma tantram bhagavam prati mahi Translation My dear Lord you have manifold energies and these energies are manifested in manifold forms. With such energies, you have also created this cosmic manifestation. And although you maintain it as if it were permanent, you ultimately unlight it. Although you are never disturbed by such a changes and alteration. The living entities are disturbed by them. And therefore, they find the cosmic manifestation to be different or separated from you. My Lord, you are always independent. And I can clearly see this fact. Purport. It is clearly explained that Lord Krishna has multi-energies which can be grouped up into three, namely the external energy, the internal energy and the marginal energy. There are also different cosmic manifestations, namely the spiritual world and the material world, as well as different types of living entities. Some living entities are conditioned and others are eternally free. The eternally free living entities are called Nitya Mukta or they never come in contact with the material energy. However, some living entities are conditioned in this material world and thus they think themselves separated from the Supreme Lord. Due to their contact with the material energy, their existence is always troublesome. Being always in, dis in distress, the conditioned soul considers the material energy to be very much disturbing. This fact is explained by the Vaishnava Kavi or poet 
कृष्ण भुले से जीव अनादि बहिर्मुख अतएव मायाताए देय संसार दुख when the living entity forgets the supreme lord and wants to enjoy himself independently imitating the supreme lord he is captured by the false notion that he is the enjoyer and is separated from the supreme lord this material energy is therefore very much troublesome to the spiritual energy the living entity but the material energy is never troublesome to the supreme lord indeed for the supreme lord both the material and spiritual energies are the same in this verse lord shiva explains that the material energy is never troublesome to the supreme lord the supreme lord is always independent but because the living entities are not independent due to their false idea of becoming independently happy the material energy is troublesome consequently the material energy creates differentiation because the mayavadi philosophers cannot understand this they want to be relieved from the material energy however because a vaishnava philosopher is in full knowledge of the supreme personality of a godhead he finds no disturbance even in the material energy this is because he knows how to utilize the material energy for the service of the lord in the government the criminal department and civil department may appear different in the eyes of the citizens but in the eyes of government both the departments are one and the same the criminal department is troublesome for the criminal but not for the obedient citizens similarly this material energy is troublesome for the conditioned soul but it has nothing to do with the liberated souls who are engaged in the service of the lord through the purusha avatar mahavishnu the supreme personality of a godhead created the whole cosmic manifestation simply by breathing out all the universes the lord creates and maintains the cosmic manifestation as lord vishnu then as a sankarshan he annihilates the cosmic manifestation yet despite the creation maintenance and destructions of the cosmos the lord is not affected the various activities of the lord must be very disturbing to the tiny living entities but since the lord is supremely great he is never affected lord shiva or any other pure devotee can see this clearly without being blinded by bheda buddhi or differentiation for a devotee the lord is the supreme spirit soul since he is supremely powerful his various powers are also spiritual for a devotee there is nothing material for material existence only means forgetfulness of the supreme personality of a god om adnyana dimirandasya dhyananjana shalakaya chakshurun melitam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha श्री चैतन्य मनोभष्ट स्थापित ये नुतले स्वयं कदा ददाति स्वपदातिक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांच श्रीरूप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथन्वित तम सचिव सावैत सवधूत वर्जन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखान वेदांश नमा ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण भ्रष्टा भूतले श्रीमदे भक्ति वेदात स्वामीना नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे वाचाकूपूप कृपा सिंधु व्यय च 
ಪತಿಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಸೂತ್ರ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಸ್ತು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಸ್ತು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗಾಡ್ ಎಡ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಇಸ್ ನಾರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ there are different philosophies which are preached by different personalities and especially last 1000 years the philosophy of impersonal or impersonalization or mayavad philosophy is very prominent which was preached by lord shiva himself in the form as a shankaracharya so lord shiva himself he has already cleared out all the doubts about mayavad generally mayavad is this is that brahma satya and jagat mithya that absolute truth is only truth or he is absolute and everything else is false or it does not exist actually but here lord shiva he himself says that whatever the mayavadi is they consider that impersonal brahman or that brahma jyoti is permanent and that's the absolute truth that brahman is absolute but here he says that brahman is nothing but the lord's effulgence because it is lord's effulgence that's why it is absolute as explained in the invocation of ishopanishad among the thousands of upanishad ishopanishad is very prominent and lord shiva uh, in the form of shankaracharya he also given a commentary on that and the first aphorism of that upanishad or invocation of that upanishad says purnamada purnamidam purnat purnam mudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnam evava shishyate absolute truth is absolute and whatever comes from him also that is also absolute so nothing is mithya because whatever comes from me it is absolute purnamada purnam idam purnat purnam udachyat so everything whatever comes from him it is absolute so because of that this impersonal form which is known as a brahma jyoti is also absolute then they say that when lord appears or when that para brahman in the form of a brahma jyoti when he gets covered with the maya then he takes form so maya avritta brahma means krishna lord rama and his other different incarnation so that is their misconception that lord when he gets covered with the energy of his own energy or maya then he becomes then he takes form as a krishna as a rama but that is also clearly defeated by lord shiva himself he here says here yo maya yedam pururu upaya srijat bibharti bhuya kshapatyat vikrayah yad bheda buddhi savida atma dusthaya tvat atma tantram bhagavan prati mahi he says oh my lord only that person can understand you who knows that you have multi energies and through that energies the whole cosmic manifestation runs 
and he said kshapatya it kshapatya it comes from you it's not that you get covered with that only who has a bhed buddhi only that person can under things that lord is different from his energies and he gets covered with the energy and that's why to make us understand properly propat clearly says that here lord shiva explains krishna has multi energies and which are grouped under three categories antaranga shakti bahiranga shakti and tatastha shakti so antaranga shakti is that the lord's abode and his different incarnations who are there in the absolute realm the external energy is whatever that grossly can be seen by our material senses and tatastha is marginal energy that is jiva that's we who sometimes get affected by the spiritual energy and sometimes get affected by material energy and when one gets materially affected then that person because he gets affected by the external energy and he is put into the situation where he suffers that's why this material world which is is called as a durga durga means what imprisonment or prison house or jail so we are put in here because we wanted to enjoy independently from the lord and that's why he quotes here from chaitanya bhagavat where vrindavan das thakur actually yesterday it was his appearance day who wrote this chaitanya bhagavat as as veda vyasa he wrote shrimad bhagavatam to glorify the wonderful qualities past times and different forms of their lord shri krishna so same way chaitanya bhagavat was written by vrindavan das thakur where he explains about the absolute truth when he appears in this age of kali to establish the sankirtan movement and there he explains that when krishna he comes to this world specifically to preach about the chanting the holy name of lord only the intelligent people they accept it and rest of the foolish people they go away from that why do they go away from that because they forget krishna and that's why he says krishna bahir sei krishna bhuli sei jeeva anadi bahirmo it's not now from the time in memorial we even we don't even remember that when we have forgotten krishna why because we are bahirmukha like we are so close to krishna but we are facing other way to krishna that is called as a bahirmukha so when one becomes bahir moks then he don't know how to approach because he is going away from krishna and who goes away from krishna then that person he comes under the control of external energy of the lord because jiva being tatastha energy being the marginal potency he gets covered either with the spiritual energy or either with material energy as a there's a nice uh, analogy has given whenever there is a high tide the sea shore it gets covered with the sea water and when there is a low tide the sea shore get it remains like that and water goes inside so same way when jiva when he wants to enjoy then he gets covered with the material energy because lord is so benevolent you know he loves everyone because the the one wonderful relationship that he has with everyone that is as a friend you know and he is that kind of a friend which is intimate he says so rudra 
in sanskrit there are different terminologies to show the intensity of your friendship one is like mitra mitra means yeah you know him because he stays somewhere around your house you know in your locality or maybe you know him because of some vicinity due to the professional atmosphere or maybe you studied in one school so you call him as a mitra second is like bandhu bandhava bandhu means he is in blood line in your family so in family also you have some friend you know so that is called as a bandhava then sakha sakha is like who always walks with you in all the situation he is always with you and there is one who is called as a surudha surudha means he is so intimately connected that you don't have to say something to express your emotion before you express he understand that just looking at your face so that is lord and he is not with one person he is like that but he is with everyone you know then question comes in mind if he is like that then why we have to pray if he knows everything then why he don't save us there is a nice verse in ramayana it says that sarvadnya api deveshu even though lord knows everything as he says in bhagavad gita that he knows the past he knows the present and he knows the future but unless and until you ask him prarthana ichchati he desires that you should do prarthana then only he interferes in your life otherwise he never touches anyone and that's why if we see all our acharyas the pattern the life pattern they have given us since morning to going to bed time we do only prayers to the lord all our bhajans all our prayers like starts with the guru ashak then again narsimha prayers then tulasi ma what what we are doing we are praying praying praying, praying. unless and until you pray for that he never interferes in your life and that's why it is said that only devotion can nullify all your previous karma karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhaja all your karma and its results they get burnt away only by performing devotional service and devotional service starts with the shravana and what do we shravan do shravan what we hear about we hear about the prayers offered by different devotees to the lord because as lord shiva is a snana priya if you do abhishek to lord shiva he gets happy with you he gets pleased with you devi shringara priya if you decorate any form of a devi whether it is mother lakshmi or durga kali or maybe any other form of devi they get pleased when they are beautifully decorated shringa and vishnu stuti priya and lord gets pleased with you when you offer just prayers to him so when we offer prayers then he looks at you and then he interferes in your life and once when his interference comes then maya goes away because he is mayapati he is the one uh, as brahma ji says that maya hi yasya jagadanda shatani sute traigunya tat vishaya veda vitayaman satva valambi parasatva vishuddha satva govinda vani purusha he says that this maya bibharti she goes around and performs all her activities because she is controlled by the lord and that's what actually we need to understand if we get controlled by her then we suffer 
बिकॉज लॉर्ड से इज दट प्रकृति स्थानी कर्षति अहंकार विमूढ़ात्मा करता हम इति मन दे वेन वी से दैट आई एम डूइंग इट सो इट इज ओके डू इट एंड ही गिव्स अस अ स्पेस एंड अलोंग विद दैट कम्स ऑल ट्रबल बिकॉज टू क्रिएट समथिंग इज नॉट अ बिग डील बट रियल ट्रबल इज देयर वेन यू वॉन्ट टू मेंटेन इट वेदर दे आर रिलेशंस और वेदर दे आर एनी प्रोजेक्ट्स Prabhu ji has a great experience about that. He has started so many projects back in seventies also there in Australia. Right now here also, so he knows what is more troublesome. The more troublesome is maintaining things, and that's why a lot takes care of that because he is the master of multiple energies, and he can do that. And one who understand that. That person is called as a nitya mukta, who knows that. That's why he never co- comes under the external energy of the Lord, because he has already taken shelter of the Lordship. Like uh, I think Sri Dhar Swami, he has given a wonderful example. He says that in uh, floor grinder, there is a pivot in between, and from there. you drop grains and the grains which are closer to that pivot closer to that pivot they never get grind you know because they are near the pivot so the whole material energy it moves around the lord's lotus feet so who has taken shelter at the lord's lotus feet he never get crushed away by the grinder so same way who has taken shelter at the lotus feet of the lord that person never gets grinded by this material energy and then further he explains that how this material universe which is the manifestation of the material energy of the lord it is constitute of different uh, elements that he explains in the next verse so that we'll discuss on next saturday हरे कृष्ण श्रीमद ग्रंथराज भागवतम की जय श्रील प्रभुपाद की